Hey everybody, John Ray Horse coming to you from the home offices of Automotive Process Champions, APC. Um, I'm here with my good friend and business partner, Mike Quinton Tarantino Paradise, and we're going to bring you the next video in the What's Important Now Win video series. You know, a couple of times over the last few months, we've mentioned um, our full disclosure meet and greet. And there's a lot of people that talk about that in the uh, automotive training industry, and we kind of want to give you our spin on it. You see, in order to do a, a full disclosure meet and greet, what you need to do is you need to think like your, our, our customer. You know, something that we talk about a lot at APC, it's something that we picked up when we worked for Half a Car, is think like your customer. And for a lot of us, you know, that are in the auto industry, it's very difficult because it's been a long time since we've been uh, 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 bought a car. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you to step out of the auto industry and for just a second and take a look at another industry. You know, it's funny, um, uh, one of the things that I absolutely love to do is I like to change it up in my fitness routine. Sometimes I like to do it, sometimes I don't like to do it. But one of the other things that I like to do is I like to switch gyms every so often. All right. And one of the things that drives me crazy when you walk into a gym, especially a, ch a chain place, is that they like to take you immediately on a tour. All right. Now, I belong to a few gyms. I know what the aerobics room is. I know what the free weight room is. But, you know, some guy in spandex is going to walk me through the entire thing because they're building value. Right. And the entire time in my head, it's like, dude, what's it going to cost for me to be a member of this gym on a month to month basis? You know, a lot of our customers that come into the dealership are the exact same way. They've spent hours and hours and hours researching the vehicle that they're interested in. And quite frankly, they probably know more than most of our salespeople. But we know in order for us to build a consulting relationship that we need to take control of the situation a little bit. And we need to get out and we need to take a look at their car. All right, so let's acknowledge the fact that they've been on the internet. Let's tell them that any information that they want, they can get. Because just like if the guy at the gym would have said, hey, you know what? I'll get you all the information on what it's going to cost to, to, to join. Hey, I just got a couple of things I want to show you real quick. All right, we can do that with our customers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give an example or what we like to train as our, our full disclosure meet and greet. But I'm also going to mention something to you. You know, one of, uh, one of my idols uh, was a guy that... Uh, spent a lot of time training a lot of us at half a car when we first started his name was John Colombo and one of the things that I love that John always said was you know memorize and personalize right and one of the reasons that I love that is because you know what I like I got my own style Mike's got his own style everybody's got their own style you need to put the elements of the meet and greet into the meet and greet and then you need to be able to go out there and do it in the way that you feel most comfortable because you know what if you can't do it the way that i do it i tend to be a little bit more uh jumping around type of person than your average guy all right if you can't do it that way you're going to be uncomfortable so take a look at the elements i'm going to role play with mike real quick i'm going to pretend like he's walking into my dealership and uh you know what then we'll wrap it up so welcome to dorsch ford my name is john yours is Mike, 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 Mike what, what information can I get you today? Uh, looking for a pickup truck. Pickup truck. Uh, get a chance to get on our website, Mike? Yeah, in fact, I looked at a couple of them on your website. Did you get a chance to write down the stock numbers? Um, I saw two or three that I liked. I didn't write their numbers down. Uh, not a problem. You know what? I've got a computer back at my desk. We can take a look at it. You know what, Mike, before you leave today, you know what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at those pickup trucks. I'm going to get you all the information on the trucks as well as estimates on price, down payment, payment, maybe even lease payments, if that's something you might be interested in. Will that work? Yeah, that works great. Mike, let me ask you a question. Are you driving one of our vehicles now? Um, no, huh? I'm no. driving a GMC. GMC pickup truck or? Actually, uh, an a SUV. Oh, awesome. What do you have it parked? I've got it on the other side of the showroom. You know what? Why don't we do this? In order to save ourselves a whole bunch of time, all right, why don't you and I go take a look at that vehicle? You can kind of tell me what you like about it, what you don't like about it. And then while it's being appraised, we can go take a look at that pickup truck that you're interested in. Fair enough? Yeah, sounds good. All right. So what are the elements? First thing we're going to do is we're going to, we just want to welcome them. We want to ask them what information they're looking for. All right. We want, to, we want to take the pressure off and say, hey, you know what? Before you leave today, why do I say that? Because I'm just telling them, Mike, I'm not going to twist your arm. We all know that we're going to try to sell them a car, but I'm not going to twist your arm. And then I'm going to tell them, Mike, you know what? I understand that you've done a ton of research and I'm going to provide you with that payment. We just got a couple extra steps to go through before we do it. All right. Never a chance to, uh, a chance to make a, a second chance to make a first impression. Let's lead with the right foot. Let's memorize and let's personalize and let's use that uh, uh, full disclosure meet and greet. You know, if you want to install some of this at your dealership or if you want us to take a look at your process, we're available. 
There's our phone number. Feel free to give us a call. Everybody have a great week.